Hey groovy people, it's me Zen Jen and I'm here in my kitchen. See there's locks. <laughs> Those locks don't work with Justin. Uh, there's many that don't work with him. He's too strong. Um, again, I'm going to tell you that in Massachusetts there's a lot of things that are established that other states could definitely learn from. Um, one is of course the fact that they came in and locked down my house to some degree and also gave a seatbelt lock um, that uh, Carl with adaptive design designed himself he tries to outsmart our kids <laughs> because it's pretty tough to do and to build things he builds things that like you know keep kids from flushing things down the toilet he keep he takes devices and sometimes tweaks them to make them stronger or better he comes up with pl solutions like putting a washer um, shut off an industrial washer shut off under our sink and then we lock it so that Justin doesn't have access to water all the time so there's a lot of really awesome things that uh, you know go on here and there's Massachusetts seems to have a lot of um, a lot of entities for families with autism we have a lot of good starts but uh, still we're we're the mystery crew <laughs> people can't figure out what to do for us with us um, and uh, I think I need to figure that out here in the next few years. So I think we're going to take another hippie trip to Olympia and take our next few year chapter back home, uh, where we consider home is the Northwest. Just because we need some quality of life, you know. We haven't. I haven't come to that decision um, fully, but there's a lot of. Um, small daily factors that uh, weigh in at this point and with me back in school and um, trying to do Groovy Minute and I really want to help uh, people and it seems like there's a lot more people in Washington that need the services that exist here that I've discovered so I can bring a lot of knowledge back to me back with me to Washington and to all over the nation um, and uh, we can start making a difference um, Hopefully I already have, <laughs> and my kids, um, through groovy people, have, I don't know, made an impact on people. I'm hoping that um, I get a bigger um, amount of people loving groovy people so that we can all uh, change the paradigm. This shift needs to happen a lot faster than I think um, we realize. There's a lot of families now with grown-up kids that... Um, feel pretty desperate. Um, I think even the families with small kids feel very desperate. <sighs> Us being one of them, we're not small <laughs> anymore, but you know a lot of families with smaller kids in there. You know, there's so much hope. There's so many things that we can do differently, and um, I think we're relying too much on bureaucracy to uh, resolve those for us, but at the same time, bureaucracy needs to work in our favor. So, keep these things in mind, just in your mind, so that you can uh, send out the good, hopeful vibes to families like ours, because we're lonely, we're scared, we're poor, um, we're dependent upon a system that really doesn't want to, us in it. Um, I know that sounds harsh, but it really feels that way. Um, there's not really a lot of accommodations going on outside of our homes. Um, and also not a lot of people visiting inside our home. So, you know, this is something I really want to address. If you know anyone who has, is a family with autism, then bring your kids to their house. Expose them to this lovely world we have. It's a great learning and surprising experience to know how to love so deeply. So... Take a chance. I mean, we took a freaking hippie trip across the country to just try and set a preface, you know, for our family to stay together. And families like ours want to stay together, and we need options to do so. And those options are not available right now, even in the state that I chose. Out of all the states in the country that has the most resources, there's still not a belief and an option for families who want to be together and want to be out in the community. And I want to do like bike races and stuff that's not just the Special Olympics, although there's nothing wrong with Special Olympics. It's just 
why do we not have inclusive societies? Yeah, there's a lot of deeper question there going on. Why, why are we still thinking in separate ways? Uh, I know I have some room to grow on that. So as we all think about how we can be more connected, send out the peace <laughs> and the love. Can you see my mm? And um, let's turn this paradigm upside down. And uh, in the meantime, we're going to take a hippie trip. We'll keep you posted later.